Hey guys, this is my gaming, and we're finally making another Pokemon tour video. But guys, I have literally the like, biggest news literally ever. So guys, if I go to my box. Oh yeah, guys. So, I did like 50 trillion million trades. And I got a level 60 Dragapult. <laughs> yep. I also caught this Steelix. So it's on my team now. Uh, traded level 58 Grim Snarl and uh, level uh, 60 Corviknight. Yeah. <laughs> but then, guys. Nope. Okay, so, guys, first of all, you can obviously see there's a bunch of stuff here. Like, also, guys, I got Inteleon and stuff. And, long story, I got, like, a lot of stuff. But, guys... So, you might be wondering, how in the world did you get a Zamazenta? Well, let's just say I helped this guy out, and then he gave me this. Yeah, and he's really, really nice. And guys, he it literally also has the rusted shield on it. And I got traded to Charmander, which is now Charizard. Also, guys, I have news. On the 8th gym, and probably the league, Instead of Cinderace, I'm going to be using Charizard. Mm. So, yeah. I just got a couple shinies from trades, and I traded, 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 until I got a Charmander, and then this, and then apparently the good IV, which I don't really care about, but still wanted one. But, yeah, guys, so, like, huge news right there. I have to sort out my freaking team. Uh, here, wait. Uh, since I don't want to make the game, like, easy and stuff, I'm just going to put, like, a different Pokemon in the front instead of, like, an overpowered one, like Dragapult or something. Or Overnight, that's higher level. And, like, Grimstone. Okay, so, you, there, then... Oh, yeah, I also, with the Charmander, the guy gave me a leftover, so I put him on Dragapult. But, yeah, so, uh... Uh, not, not summer, not summery. Move, there we go. Okay, so, yeah. I also taught Dragapult and Draco Meteor, so yeah. Oh, now we're gonna uh, fly to, like, uh, what is it, uh, Sir Jester to, because that's where I have to go. Guys, one second. Sorry about that, guys. I'm doing something. But... <laughs> Uh, what? This way, I'm gonna guess, because it, like, showed in the middle a lot, but that part doesn't matter. Uh. Huh? Oh, did they see something about, like, Bob's Your Uncle restaurant or something? Um, I think also, if you guys want to teach... When you Pokemon the move Draco Meteor, talk to this guy right here. I, I can get on my bike, I forgot. I forget that a lot. <laughs> this is Bob's uncle, I think. And they, I think they said something about it. Yep. There they are. Got the gym badge, really nice one. Oh, hey. There, uh, there you are. are. I've been trying to find out more about the Darkest Day and the Sword and Shield Pokemon, but still no luck. Wait, hold on. No way, what's this? A new chapter? I'm just gonna say a fifth uh, tapestry. 
These girls look sad and where are the sword and shield? No clue. What was the meaning of this picture? The, an end to legend? Hmm, perhaps when their duty was clean and they went into some kind of sleep? Based on those two statues we saw back in Stone on side, sword and shield were after two Pokemon, right? That's right, that's my take on it at least. You remember the Pokemon we meant that day? Do you think it could have been one of them? Either the sword or shield Pokemon? Yes, it was the sword one. It was Ashian. You met them? Come on, you know what I'm talking about, right, Lee? I do. In the slumbering world. Exactly. In that Pokemon we ran into, into the fog. You don't, you think that could have been it? Well, that's right, you, you lot have been in the slumbering world. I only started on this journey because my grand tol told me to, but this is turning out to be too much fun. You've got to tell me more. How about we discuss this over a meal? Go on, what do you want to eat? Let's go order them. Fascinating. All right, the next thing, thing to do now that we're done eating is, is to have a look around Sir Chester. Let's inspect the hero's bath. Okay, fine. I love how the game like tele. Oh, never mind. I love to. I love how the game just teleports in there, and then when we go to that, they're not gonna be there. But this time, we're actually like walking with them, so like it's actually like facts now, which actually like makes sense. The hero's bath. They say this is where the two heroes came to soothe their wounds after the battle to bring down that evil presence long ago. Nowadays, only Pokemon really use the hero's bath, though. Hmm, who would luckily where the heroes up bathe here? I think I'll have to look into that. You met, you two met a mysterious Pokemon back in this lumbering world. Perhaps you two can become new heroes. Also, guys, it might be called the Slumbering Wield, which I'm probably going to end up calling it now, but... Because that's what a lot of people say, but... What, like some hero waving around a sword and shield pulled the other one? Though, I guess I'd fancy a shield if I had to take my pick. Yeah, you'd say you'd fancy a sword if this was a shield. What kind of battle do you think the heroes had back then? Why don't we still relieve and pull off a real hero battle? Oh, my God god okay well you know i do have a level six need like your dragon ball and stuff so um yeah you're probably gonna get wrecked time for a little exhibition ex exhibition match whatever he said i don't even know double i hate double you've always been like eh to me a bit weird double Coming on you, partner. Uh, I'll use. Also, I taught him Blaze Kick. Let's see how it looks with Cinderace. Ooh, that doesn't really look that cool. Oh, well, actually, no, it actually looks pretty cool, but it also doesn't look cool. I avoided the attack. Let's go. Double is so low. I'm just gonna honestly finish you off with flame charge. No, you had to use a hyper potion. Really? Avoid gets buff. I love how he gets buffeted by the heel and then also gets hit, uh, burned by, uh, because of my please kick. Well, now you have to suffer. Now you you died. <laughs> Pin kerchin. Uh, yeah, I'll just, or er, I'll keep it. That generation. Oh, that thing? Oh, but also, guys, I'm literally so high leveled. Oh, usually, my, my, some of my Pokemon, like, I leveled up a bunch. And you can tell because this, 
like pop Pokemon level like 40 and mine level like 50. Uh, wait, what do I want to, what should I use? Pyro Ball, let's go. And he got one-shotted. Cinderace is so close to leveling up, you don't even know. I hate this stupid being buffeted by the hill. Snorlax? Yeah, I'm gonna switch. You know who I'm gonna switch to? Dragapult. Dragapult, because I also want to show you guys how good he is. Well, I mean, he, oh, like, well, yeah, but I, I don't know. So, yeah, I there's the, my Dragapult, and then, so, okay. Yeah, I'm really, like, high level compared to you guys. Guys, you're gonna see Draco Meteor in action. Doesn't it look so cool, guys? Ready? Then meteors fall down and hit the opponent. And this is what I mean. This is why I chose a higher level. Because Swirlax, um, is so bulky. It's literally so bulky. It doesn't usually die from, like, anything. Unless it's, like, unless, for, like, there's, like, a level 100 Pokemon, probably. But, like, I also, yeah, I put, yeah, I told you guys I had the idea. I put the leftovers on. Uh, Jackpot. Dragon Claw. How many Pokemon left? Do you have Hop? Okay, okay so. Slender Race, level 51 now. Boom. I actually, yeah, I will, I'll, I will switch. I will switch to uh, Sundrace because he obviously has three fire type moves. And guess what, which one I'm gonna use? Pyro Ball, <laughs> Although I really probably don't need to, I guess I'm gonna do that anyways because it will probably for sure punch out it. This should be a lost Pokemon because, like, it's, your star it's his starter, so, like, it should be his last. Now, that's proper move. A uh, proper move, sorry. Dragapult is almost leveled up. Oh, uh, does he have one more Pokemon? Corviknight. Ah, uh, okay. <gasps> yeah, it's funny how, like... Guys, I'm gonna test out, I'm gonna put new, new Steelix for you guys, so you can see. It's so, like, cool how, like, Hop sometimes just, like, you know, doesn't make his starters last Pokemon. <laughs> I think you've gotten corner, not even close. It'll be the greatest when I steal something. It's been not enough time to read it. Okay. Wait, what? Why does it dig and stuff for no effect? Okay, I'm just gonna use Crunch. Scary face, I hate those moves. Still accused Crunch. And how did that not even get it to yellow? Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna use Iron Tail, cause obviously, it's not very effective. Yeah, he did like way less damage to me than I did to, to, with Crunch to him though. <laughs> uh, also guys, I searched up how to get leftovers. So if, when we get to the water bike thing we can go to somewhere I forget where it is i'll look it up again and get leftovers and put in on another pokemon and yeah so you have to battle these like team yell guys again it's like the guy who gave me the road on bike i think it's like the same guy and the same team yell members again then he'll give you like the water version of the bike and i think it's really close to here because i think it was in like around the snowy area 
Thanks, you two gave a right proper battle. At the right, you both are going, even the unbeatable Leon may be in trouble. So what's next, you two? I plan to look into things in the slumbering wield. I'm going to keep challenging that gym. Then once I get that gym badge, I'll be heading for Route 9 to get Unspike Mo Spike Moose next. That's on the map, right? Seems like you finally shook off that gloom, Leon. Leon, worry if Hop wasn't feeling all right. As his rival, you wouldn't like it either, right? So yeah. Okay, well, so we're probably gonna go wherever the heck we're gonna go next. Uh, wherever the heck we have to go. So in next time, but I will see. So Spike Booth is on the map, right? Yep. See, that's right there. Spike Booth. And we have right now we have to pass through route nine. Route nine. Go to where this is. <gasps> Guys, that little picture there. That's where you get the Tom water thing. Right there, that picture. Well, guys, we're going to do that in the next episode. Bye.